all right here i am with the 99 xk8 that i have and i'm attempting to do a, uh, a thermostat housing uh, replacement with this cheap plastic one that eventually failed on me after my thousand mile trip from texas uh, to jackson florida jacksonville florida here um, but uh, everybody keeps talking about what tool to use i was able to find this 5 16 crow's foot use a regular extension of course i've got the uh, swivel extensions but uh, if it goes too far, then uh, you can't get to the screw. It's got to be almost perfectly flat, about like that. But that's what I was able to get to the uh, back screws with. Of course, the back screws still didn't come out. That's what the aluminum one looks like. 30 bucks on eBay, no problem. Got a new radiator for 65 bucks, I think. New hoses, $20 a piece. Uh, temp sensor, $20 at uh, AutoZone on the way uh, here. As you can see, that jelly stuff was probably because I put green antifreeze instead of orange Dex Cool, and I guess it mixed a little bit. But a uh, new water pump, 89 bucks, and so uh, my prognosis for this is going to be to uh, cut the heads off with maybe a Dremel and a cutting wheel, and then use uh, hex cap screws, uh, M6 bolts, maybe a little bit shorter than what they got, and hopefully I won't ever have to go back into it or anybody else for that matter. Uh, next time, but I guess some people if they can get the bolts out they they slot the screws with a grinder But that's what it looks like once you get everything off bypass comes off easy Everything's eight millimeter or I use a I used a 5 16 socket. No problem and Some extensions uh, with a quarter inch drive so easy money hardly any wires compared to other cars uh, like this of that year or even now uh, I'm starting to really like wrenching on this thing because there's not much to it but that's pretty much a replacement in a nutshell. Thank you, Ford, for making plastic crap. Thank you for those plastic timing chain tensioners, too. That was awesome. Not.